hello everybody welcome back to Chrissy's world um I wanted to do another video to follow up with uh, video number two um, video number two basically talked about the symptoms of key RM malformation and I did leave some off and I thought about it after the fact <laughs> which I'll just jump right into it um, brain fog which is probably why I <laughs> forgot in the other ones brain fog and um, memory issues so um, there were some other websites that I used to kind of research a little bit more there are experts on YouTube who um, I've been watching some of their videos as well um, just to kind of educate myself a little bit more on symptoms and what's related and what's not um, I look up these symptoms not to try to find more things wrong with me but to just see what is related to this particular disorder and then what is not related so if i need to go address some things with my primary doctor i can do that um or if once i have surgery and once i've started you know treating kiari malformation type one then i can kind of eliminate some of those issues so i just really want to educate myself because i feel like the more that i know the more prepared i'll be and i'll be able to handle um treatment a little bit better um so brain fog and memory memory issues my hair is just not trying to cooperate um memory issues um are some of the big um symptoms and like i said in the in the last video i did find a community on facebook and this seems to be pretty common within that particular community another one and this has been like huge for me like i know in the last video i talked about how bad the headaches were another thing that has been like right up there with the headaches is fatigue i am always tired i can never get enough sleep i'm always tired um just last night in particular i think i went to bed around 7 30 and i got up this morning around 7 30 and i still could take a nap um and it's not even 1.30 in the afternoon as of yet. So, um, this has just been like extremely terrible. Um, and then also, of course, with lack of sleep, you're not able to focus as, as much. Um, I did notice, and I didn't know that it was related to this, but I did notice that my productivity at work um, was not the same. Luckily, I wasn't fired because of this, but... Um, just i do keep my boss in the loop in regards to what's going on with me so um now he has some answers just as well as i do um but my product productivity was not the same um at work and i feel like it's probably because i was always tired and not able to focus um as much um as before so um i've been in my position going on uh, no, I actually just made two years. Yeah, two years this year um, in my current position. So he definitely knows that I'm I'm pretty proficient with what I do. But here recently, it's just kind of declined a little bit. So it's not like I suck the whole time. Um, and I think that has helped me. Um, the fact that I started out, you know, doing really well. And then he slowly saw, saw a decline in my um, productivity so I think it is related to me being tired all the time and I did see my primary doctor about this um, and she said that um, she did a lot of blood work and stuff and she related it back to it being um, my vitamin D levels were too low I think it's supposed to be within between 30 and 60 um, and mine was at an eight when I started out. My most recent one, after taking a prescription vitamin D, my most recent one was at 20. So I still have a little bit of ways to go, but um, it's definitely coming up. Have I seen a difference? A little bit, but not dramatic, but I can tell when it's time to take it again. I take it once a month, so I can tell when it's time to... Um, take my vitamin again because that week I just want to sleep the whole week just not do nothing um just lay around and I'm like that anyways but when I don't take my vitamin d it's really hard to push myself um 
you know, once it's in my system and I get it, you know, and I'm cool and I'm staying up, up on it, I'm able to push myself a little bit easier than when I don't take it. However, I do still have um, a lot of fatigue issues with um, with the Chiari. Um, another one is like, I don't know, I don't think I touched on this in the last video, but um, I have a lot of weakness in my arm. It started out with just my hand, but now I feel like it's progressed just a little bit with my arm. Um, yesterday, I wasn't able to move my arm at all uh, for a little while, and I just kind of stayed in bed. Um, the kids are gone, so I didn't really have to do anything. Um, so I just kind of laid around and just waited it out because at this point, there's not anything that um, I can do other than have the surgery and start my road to recovery um, in that regard. So um, I've noticed that it's been happening more often. Usually it used to be just in the morning when I wake up and then it would take some time for me to get it moving and get the blood flowing and, you know, then I'd be okay. However, um, here recently... Um, it's just been becoming more often, more randomly throughout the entire day versus just in the morning. So, yeah, kind of scary, but I'm really trying to stay positive and um, do what I can when I can. Um, I am scheduled for surgery next week, so um, I'm just hoping that I can get everything done around the house because I am a little bit worried about that. Um, and hopefully before I go into surgery, I'll do another video and let you guys know like um, how this has affected me um, mentally um, because definitely, you know, getting a serious diagnosis like this is not easy. So uh, maybe in the next video, I'll do some, uh, tell you guys a little bit how it's affected me mentally, anxiety wise, panics scared um fear whatever you know i'll go through all of that in the next video um like i said i i'm hoping to get that done prior to surgery and then i'll also try to follow up with you guys after surgery so yeah that is all for this video and if you have not already go back and watch the first two videos um this is video number three just kind of keeping you guys up to date with what's going on with my new diagnosis of qr malformation type one and um, if you have not already watched those videos, I am doing these videos just to um, bring awareness to it, kind of track my journey and share with you guys on how I'm dealing with it and what's going on with me and my symptoms and things like that. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys stay tuned to um, the journey right along with me. Send those positive vibes and those prayers, um, good prayers towards heaven for me so that I can have a good surgery and a great recovery. Till next time, see you later.